Hello everybody and welcome to the first actual video I'm going to be making. I'm going to be doing a new series starting up because I want to complete uh, Shadow Warrior for you guys. I want to do that. But Atomic Hearts could be the first one to get done. I've been waiting for this. But yeah, um, so we're going to be playing Atomic Heart and playing through it. That being said, let's go ahead and start this. Okay, so... Is this the difficulty? We are pleased to welcome you on an easy sightseeing tour of uh, the facility 380, uh, 38, 380, geez, 3826, uh, comrade. Uh, spectacular and dynamic battles with robots won't take too much effort oh so this is the difficulty so we're gonna play on normal I guess this is normal hopefully let's get into it <clears throat> I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. Make sure there's not a car. <laughs> That's cool. On the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Uh, sure. Sure, thanks. Give me some soda. That's awesome. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. We're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. It actually looks pretty good. With your Volvas bots, Andre. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been lying there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold Piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million! Enjoy the celebration! Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. 
I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Seven years in development. You've been that ordered to great. the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. Icarus platform residents and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechinov, is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Huh. Step right up. You can become part of Collective with a thought device, comrade. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey! How about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't gonna come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. All right. Sure. Oh, all right then. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hey you, too, you, experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, glove. Just a few days until the new collector comes online. Imagine that. Never thought he'd make it. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. I already tried one. It doesn't work on me. Why not just try one on? Okay. Um, okay. Sailor or astronomer with a thought device? You can train for any profession in no time. Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do a No thanks. I'm all set. It's rude to eavesdrop on other people's conversations, Comrade Major. You're one to talk. Mm. 
he's sleeping. I had my polymer treatment yesterday, and I feel really great. And I've already started studying physics and chemistry. That's amazing. I'm getting polymerized today. The rest of the country has to wait until Monday. But here in Chalamet, the future is now. If anyone has earned this privilege, it's us, the employees. Uh -huh. as well uh, everything up to there should be in the picture it'll look great here's an idea I'm a lady from the future and you're my soldiers ma'am yeah like this say cheese let's get another one any ideas Alright, let's just go ahead and assemble near the Ground Lake Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, Everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. I took... Oh, I took the wrong... Oh, no, you're supposed to go around. Okay. Wait, you could... Oh, I could have took the shortcut. Come. I've got a question. Yes, comrade. How may I help? You can't hit a thing. Just imagine all the possibilities of the universe and conversation. Everything's up and running. Um. There are some restrictions, but we're already control robots. Well, what can you tell me about space? <laughs> That's quite a question. We could talk about it endlessly and still get nowhere. One thing is certain, though. The question, how should we live here on Earth, can only be answered out there. Huh. So, what do you think? Is mankind ready to leave its home? A philosophical question, but if you're asking about technology, we'll have it in a couple of years. But whether we're truly ready for it, every person has to make up their own mind. So do you believe in aliens? If I had a ruble for every time I've been asked that question, I'd be a capitalist. But I hope that very soon we will fly to the stars and become aliens to other races. Huh. I never thought about it that way before. Thanks. Hmm. That's a funny way to use a Belyash. Yeah, I was surprised too. Apparently, the MA-9 can use its polymer emitter to form an image-producing grid. In effect, this robot now doubles as a high-resolution video camera and projector. No thanks. I'm good. Fuck me. I just talked to that guy for ten minutes, and I didn't understand a goddamn word he said. You 
being too hard on the young man. He's just doing his job. He ought to be selling sunflower seeds on the street. <laughs> Space expert, my left nut. Going forward, I hope you can exhibit the same professionalism you expect from those around you. That goes double for you. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Yeah. your glove with scanner functionality using the neuropolymer as a conduit the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system especially your eyes polymer retina to activate the scanner just make a special gesture please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it the palm of your hand should be facing the object contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Okay, so hold RB, then press RB. Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. In the history of mankind, we find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. Report to the lobby of that high rise, Comrade Major. No, I'm not exactly waiting for you. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. 
thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible so to glad to see you are taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not to leave. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. On behalf of all at facility 3826, um. I present to you the device of the future. Oh, it's going up already. Okay, I thought I had to press something. Thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. <clears throat> this all will be possible once your thought neural connector now I know the elevator stopped. All communication. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So... What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Can't spray yet. Okay, just that's fine. I would love to spray. That's one hell of a car, but it's still an internal combustion engine, right? Sure, it's a solid machine. Can't stop progress though. They're turning out new models daily now. This one's a gas guzzler. Wait until they're all running on electricity. Okay, 
Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from in one every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics, robotic workers from that. the... We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about some music? That's more like it. I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the Condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction, straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Got foggy. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemey Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. Observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Oh, 
hole. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the Trove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? What? What am I supposed to do about it? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Whoa. You have reached your destination. Reach my destination? That's a little um, understatement. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. What the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, oh, bitch! My wife just gets sh out of me. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Comrade Major, I'm falling. What the shit? Oh my god. I hope you guys have been watching it for so far. This is great. I love what if games. I just love them so much. Like my favorite um, shooter of all time would have to be Wolfenstein. Attention. I love Far Cry, but Wolfenstein has to be up there. Fall out. <clears throat> oh, shit, my head's killing me.
Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him Iggy. and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sessionov out. Piggy. <laughs> My wife loves pigs. You guys, those are hostile. And stepped in and knocked me back. <laughs> what? He's fake? <gasps> you can swim in this? on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Come on, hey you, I'm coming. You alive in there? Somebody help me! Get away from me! Looking at, almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn mad house. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. How are you, lover? What are you Zena? doing here, anyway? Oh, just Zena. passing through. Who are you? Me, Zena. Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. <laughs> Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. Riding my ass for two days now. This granny's awesome. Eat shit and die. 
What a goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? So, After oh. the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent <clears throat> back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences. Dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. <coughs> There's been an incident in the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady! This is Sergeant Major oh, Ibrahim! Here. I'm human! Just turn the handle and open the door! Shotgun shells. That took me about what? About three minutes You're going up and down to find that? Raccoons are the game safe areas. Each is equipped with the manual uh, save game machine. Yes. Okay. But we're not gonna. Worry about that yet. We'll save it a little bit later. Uh, and the machines rose. It was can perform power attacks that knock P3 down if they hit. When an enemy is charging a power attack, Jalas will indicate the best moment to dodge. Upon seeing the red highlight, press B to dodge. Gashes. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shingo, why didn't you tell me that before? Okay, so you, you hold, you press it RB. Hurt to collect. Okay, if there 
are a lot of crates in front of you. You hold or beat in the direction and move from one to the other without releasing or a beat. This will allow you to collect all the resources from the crates in one go. That is resources amazing. Resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. can't open all of them, which is fine. Okay, so this is like a computer? Okay, so let's see. Order. Um, June 3rd, uh, 1955. Facility, facility 3826 Department Director M. Stockhausen to Vavilov Management. Order from Comrade Zach uh, Kanov, Director of Facility 3826. All employees of Facility 3826, including service employees, are to undergo polymerization on June 10th, 1955. Make sure everyone signs the protocol after the procedure. <coughs> okay, let's go to the note. May 12th, 1955, HR management, security management. In response to your inquiry, uh, here is my evaluation of the prisoner V. Petro. Okay, mental state nervous, impulsive, working at the Zach Skaya Theater. I'll probably butcher that, but that's okay. Has had an obvious effort on the prisoner's psychological state. He has been obsessed with theat on theatrical uh, images for several months now and recites poems by some unknown poet in his sleep. Physical state, average physical health, occasionally nervous tick, security status, uh, flight risk, uh, despite comrade Sakhanov's personal request not to use harsh methods to prevent his escape, constant surveillance is recommended. P.S. Uh, uh, unofficially. Petrov has been losing his marbles for a while now because of everything that's happened to him. Psychologically speaking, there are no objective causes that could have led to his psychopathy, uh, psychopathy uh, or his obsession with uh, the theater. As a result, I believe that the theater... Um, theater is more than just a workplace to him I suggest sending a team to search his workstation granny Zena All right. April 3rd 1955 I'd like to call your attention to the fact that Zena uh, Zenadia no Zenadia Duh. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. My bad. Moraviova. Ah, oh, okay, we go. Aka Granny Zena is not allowed to enter or approach the Sapling Warehouse on, on, without authorization under any circumstances. Comrade Moraviova um, has previously taken seeds and saplings of experimental flowers back to her dwellings under the pretext of performing an inspection 
than cultivating them privately. Since these plants are in early environmental stages and may have characteristics that have yet to be fully studied, this could be dangerous. P.S. Don't react to Granny Zena's rudeness. Behave yourselves. Oh, that's good. Okay, order, ba -da -ba -da -da, top secret, May 2nd, 1955, informed comrade Zekhanov about the incident in the germination workshop, cordon off the hospital where the victim is being treated, let no one into the ward other than medical personnel and comrade Zekhanov. Okay. So here's the employees. Okay. Right. I don't think we can check all these. If you wanted to look at each of them, you can. It's like they range anywhere from in the 20s to 60s. Yeah, yeah, because she's 27 and he's 26. Guessing these are Debs, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I could be. Don't know why these two are twins. Um, wait, what else am I missing? I read all these, right? Yeah, I did read all these. Okay. See, so he's walked towards the door, which is great. So we're looking for a weapon. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Oh, okay. We'll check that out in a minute. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Okay, so... <clears throat> Pal Palatyev B354 Germination Workshop Hardworking Antisocial Okay, so D. Bogatsky um, He's His code is N667 Tropical Workshop Hardworking Extrovert Extrovert My bad Loud So he can be loud, okay uh, B. Castiasco um, S262 Algae Workshop is the influenced Disciplined for untidy workstation V Petro. There we go. This is what we want to see S230385 Cold Workshop Low in it, uh, Initiative Introvert Anxious uh, let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here. D. Sardrin in 554. Uh, pesticide workshop. Lazy gambles with the others. Rude. 
a Rastor, uh, Rastor Goyev in 345. Boiler Room sings his uh, sings at his workstation. Of Socrates, um steals by Feminov R327. Boiler Room as well. Hardworking, inventive, argumentative. Ooh, so he argues a little bit. That's okay. Uh, May 5th. Okay, let's just skip that. Have the following employees from the pesticide workshop escort the victim A. Niyalova uh, to Vavilev complex. So, B, because this is a set of people. All these employees are to receive additional hazard pay for three working days draw up the paperwork for the trip and make sure it go it gets done oh so that's cool all right so they got paid for leaving their workshop okay uh, December 21st 1954 this is from dr. a real uh, security staff I would like to remind our comrades in the security department that the days of Comrade Stalin's purges are over. Yes, the people carrying out their sentences at Vavilev have committed various crimes, but they're still human beings. They're still our comrades, and now we treat them here will determine whether or not they learned a lesson from their punishment and recognize the error of their ways. However, I've heard a lot of complaints about prisoners being treated poorly. Let me remind you that this is neither a penal colony nor a prison. Be kinder, my friends. So this is after this is ended and I guess all these people that were with him was uh, got sent to um, work here to as a rehabilitation so sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it uh, how do we okay right Oh, cool. Okay, so right stick is to duck down. He didn't tell me that. Uh, that's fine, though. Here's another one. Let's go ahead and listen to this. Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Colts off some tea. I'll be with you in a sec. Okay? This may be my favorite way of searching around for things. Because let's face it, sometimes it takes forever just to search every single location in nook and cranny. Okay. Oh, there's another one of these. Let's go ahead and check this out. There's only two here, so alright, so June 9th, 1955, last night, lab assistants, uh, Skupinzev and Lepyonskin, Lepyonskin, there it is, remember, it's, okay, I hope I got that right, uh, taped a photograph of Comrade Sekhanov to a Vova and allowed it to wander around the halls and this state. Janitor Nivadova passed out when this Nivova looked at her through a window. Give them official reprimand. Why would you do? No offense, I don't care how bad you are. Don't fucking poke fun at people. June 3rd, 1955. Uh, this is from the management order from Comrade Sekhanov, director of the facility 
3826 are employees of facility 3826 including service employees are to undergo polymerization okay we already read this one this is the same one from the other one okay here we go okay let's go ahead and skidoo out of here and this is what? What does this is? tell me what this says? Technical? Alright, let's. Oh, we can't even go in here yet. Can we? No. Well, that was. That was a good plan that I thought I had. Can we take things from here? No? Okay. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. I. Seriously, I knew that was gonna happen. And still, is there no one behind me? Oh, there's two of them. Ah. There we go. Heal up again. We got, we collected enough of these. I can heal up a uh, multiple times. Oh, what what does this do? Oh, you can loot their bodies. Where the other one go? Right here. Oh, I didn't know. Th I'm not gonna go back and get the other ones. I didn't know that though. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel. But I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Okay, I couldn't help it. I had to go back and get those, uh... Loot those um, machines. That's calling to me. What is this? No entry elevator for machines only. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the, the fire inner lab or So how am I room? supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Does it, does it tell me? Okay, so food chest. I speak not only of our errant and misguided neighbors to the west, or the ravages of anatomy. So is that anatomy? We, go, we can't go in here. Okay. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? 
You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! I don't want to die! Oh my You creepy son of a gun. Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Get up, get up, get up. Heal. Ah. Crap. All right, let's try this again. Almost. Ah, get up, get up, get up. Yes. Ooh. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. So what are we gonna do? Go to here? What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. Ah, got it. That's a cool little uh, mechanism. It little works. puzzle. <laughs> A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. <laughs> What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough jumps. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. Oh my gosh, it sounds like my wife. That's creepy because it's a robot. Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick. How titillating. Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute. Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer. I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything from my master? What can I do for you? Huh. 
Huh. More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Okay. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's what it. The fuck? We're done here. Let's go. <laughs> the same, yeah, yeah, we're done. Alright. So we, we gotta Um, let's see how we do this. So we got ourselves a shotgun. Nice, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. And then we'll continue from here. So let me go ahead and uh I'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, dislike the video. Also, comment what you guys think of this game so far down below. And subscribe. It helps my channel out. I see a lot of people checking in on my uh, content. It's just I'm trying to get to that 50 subs. So thank you guys for watching. Be kind to each other. Enjoy your gaming. Until next time. Peace.